Imagine your country goes mad. Imagine the place where your family has lived peacefully for decades suddenly declares you an enemy of the state. It strips you of all your rights. Threatens you. Deports you. Half Jews and quarter Jews, on the other hand, were still allowed to serve the fatherland in the military. As a result, they were safe from persecution for the time being, especially as Adolf Hitler needed them. September the 1st, 1939, the Germans attacked Poland. The German army rolled across the border. In its ranks were thousands of half-Jews and quarter-Jews, the so-called Mischlinger. Many of them saw fighting for the Reich as a way of gaining favor and a way to protect their families. One example of a patriotic Mischling was half-Jew Werner Goldberg. An article in a German newspaper in 1939 talked of the victory in Poland and showed a heroic image of a young warrior, the archetypal German soldier. It was Goldberg. He was blonde, very clear blue eyes. For three months, he was in a lot of German military propaganda newspapers and magazines as the typical Aryan-looking soldier until they found out that his father was a Jew. An estimated 100,000 other soldiers with Jewish heritage fought alongside Werner Goldberg in Hitler's conquering army. It showed just how flawed the Nuremberg laws were. It wasn't just lesser ranks who were compromised by the Nuremberg laws. Some of Hitler's most senior generals fell into the same dangerous categories. Three of Hermann Goering's top Luftwaffe officers were Mischlinger, including his most senior and capable Air Force commander, Field Marshal Milch. Milch had overseen the development and re-equipping of the Luftwaffe and built it into the modern and powerful force that spearheaded Hitler's Blitzkrieg. He reported directly to Goering. But many people have asked, how in the world does a half-Jew, Milch, become a field marshal in Hitler's uh, military? He was a brilliant mind. No question about it. Ran Lufthansa in the 20s. Uh, Hitler called him in uh, to help run uh, the Luftwaffe. He was the most prominent personality for personnel planning and production. Uh, Hitler had said in 1936 that there are two names linked with the birth of our Luftwaffe, Milks and Goering's. Even though he was essential to the war effort, Milch was investigated by the Gestapo under the Nuremberg laws. His father, Anton Milch, was a Jew. Goering would have none of it. In his book, he decided who was a Jew and not the Nuremberg Laws. In all, 22 generals and seven admirals were Aryanized. They included Admiral Bernhard Roger, a quarter Jew who received a German blood declaration in 1939. 